Okay, it is just afternoon actually, and I thought I'd treat myself to a just making some yogurt. Well, not making yogurt, having some yogurt with other things. So I've already chucked it in the bowl. I use this one here, this uh, Koyo natural yogurt. And normally I just I'd get vanilla, but the advantage of buying it like this is I can use it then when I make like another uh, dressing thing to put on my salad later. So I can always add. I can always add some vanilla. Oh, which is in the back of the car. <laughs> I'm sure I'll go get out. I can do that. Not really that concerned about it though. Um, so I've put some goodies in this bag here. I was trying to think the other day when I was doing a video. Pretty tired again, actually. I did get some sleep last night. Not that much. It was a nice place I slept, actually. But, um, this is what I put in the other day. Well, I couldn't remember what I also put in these. Gold, golden berries. So got these little dudes going on here. It's amazing. They're so good when they swell up in the yogurt. So good. So tangy. This tang. Mmm. I don't find them that often anymore. I don't know why. I'm a big fan of them. Of course, we've got some um, cow nibs. I haven't put that one yet. I've got to find. Um, got some maple syrup. Don't really need it, but that's always a bit of fun. Um, got my knife here. I've got to find my um, the melons. Now, what I've done with those, and I actually had some berries as well. Mm. Oh, I have a oh. have feeling in the back of the car <laughs> or in the side of the car actually. I nearly lost that yogurt then. <laughs> that wouldn't have been much fun to clean that up. All right, so I was going to pause it and I'm going to get these things. Okay, well I didn't get the the vanilla. At the back because I thought I just found I forgot actually I bought this I actually got the same brand of yogurt this vanilla version it's been sitting in the car for a few days now in quite a lot of heat but I reckon I'll mix them together it's gonna be fine it's not I mean it's not berry it's coconut so I guess I'll know about it if, it's, <laughs> if that's not gonna work out well for me soon I've got to find these melons though um, oh yes oh success fantastic that's always exciting I can't remember what's in half the bag all the time. Stuff everywhere. And I still wasn't able to get my oranges. I thought I would, but gee whiz. Oh, there's another melon in here. That's not melon, sorry, kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit. Gosh, tiredness. Right. I don't know what it is. I mean, you can get, you, look, you can get oranges. You just can't get um, organic ones for some reason. I don't know why. I thought it'd be really easy up here, but it just hasn't been that way at all. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. All right, so be careful here. Got a little cutting board. So actually, start up here. Yep, it's a nice humid day. One, I'm loving it. I was in the supermarket before, obviously, just getting some things, and and it's like a meat locker in there. <laughs> like, I mean, literally. I mean, obviously, there's meat in there, but I mean, it's just so cold. It is so cold. It's like a big freezer. I was like, why is it? Why is it so cold in here? Like, it's Okay, it's it doesn't. I mean, okay, maybe it's. I don't know. I don't think it's that uncomfortable personally. The heat. It's not that bad. I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, but it's just it's ridiculously cold. So when you come out, you're like, oh, finally. I was talking to a friend earlier on the phone actually about about the weather. Um, out here, <laughs> talking about the weather. It's always fun, isn't it? You know. Um, something you generally don't want to talk about. But no, no, I was just saying about how. I used to be really overweight, um, well, because I took all these medications that made me really fat, and I was just saying that I don't didn't don't feel that now. Like it, um, I used to feel like the the heat would really get to me when I was overweight and, and not healthy as well. I didn't eat healthily and I was fat. I was uh, my, my heaviest or, or fattest. I was one hundred and five kilograms, and now I'm about between I think 72 to 75 something like that and the heat just doesn't really bother me but I've noticed a few people just around even the region who say oh like it's not even that it's not even that humid right well oh it's so hot this humidity is incredible and I'm thinking well, I just don't think that at all it's like it's nothing it's, it's, it's awesome but I mean and it's not a judgment but they are you know they're overweight and 
And I think that the weight really has something to do with it. I, I really do. I, I think that's all. That's an observation. That's all. Not a judgment. It's just an observation. So I was talking to my friend about that, and you know, he, he, think, he seems to think the same, probably. That it's probably that. An interesting thing too, I learned, because it's like a, I love it. It's like a sauna. <laughs> speaking of, so anyway, speaking of saunas, that I learned yesterday, I think it was that. The infrared saunas, which I've had, they're amazing, full on, amazing heat. They they actually able to get out of your body eighty percent time, eighty seven percent more of metals in the body by having an infrared sauna compared to a normal sauna or even a steam. So I thought that was rather interesting. Yeah, I'd love to love to have one of those. I'd love to have one today actually, but nothing's open. I'd love to have a massage today. Oh look at I mean look at this car. Come on, come on camera, do us justice. There we go. Beautiful. Look at it. How exciting. I'm really enjoying all this stuff. So good. It's all the, you know, the tex textures and the crunchiness and it's about having a celebration of food. Okay. So we've got that going on. Oh, then of course, you know, love the texture of the walnuts. These, these. Amazing. So these are good for your brain. And it's interesting because a lot of a lot of foods that are actually good for you, you when you look at them, they, they, these are all broken up, so you can't really tell. They actually look like the things that they're good for. So a proper walnut, just by itself, actually kind of looks like a brain. You know? All right, so that's I was saying. My rule here with things is just leave a handful of like nuts and stuff because that's all you'd probably pick in in nature. Because um, walnuts. You know, they come in a shell and it'll take a bit of time and um anyway. Now where are those cacao nibs? You know, you can put in whatever you want. Oh look, I've got some chia seeds. Now I'll see if I can let them sit for a bit because then they'll expand a bit. And these are really, really highly nutritious for you as well. But generally you want to make it like a pudding. But I I'm not using any any milk, so I'll try and get these guys in the yogurt a bit so they expand a little bit and let it sit for a bit oh my salad by the way that you saw the video the other day it was so good it tasted so good <laughs> so enjoyable really really nice that uh the kale that i was massaging and soaking marinating it worked out well all this stuff super healthy you know you don't need to eat the chocolate bars and crap forget all that stuff junk absolute crap crap for you in it you know you can eat something that tastes so much better it's healthy for you it really doesn't take that long to do i could do this faster if i really was in the car um and i bought some more spoons because i don't know where my other one is i've only got one spoon and i don't know what to do with it <laughs> all right so i've got to oh these plastic things all right got some scissors down here where are they oh there they are all right Yeah, I mean, I was, when I was walking around before, I was thinking about that. You know, about all the chocolate aisles and stuff, and and people, you don't, people don't feel good about it either. I mean, I'm having this. Okay, there's a, probably a little bit of sugar in this. Well, it is from the fruits and that, but it's it's different than. Gee, this is really hard. Okay. Um, oh man, come on! All right, all right, we're done. <laughs> Almost done there. All right. Back to putting that in the bin later. Yeah, so you, you can um, you can make this really healthy food, and you got it left over, and it's nutritious, and it tastes it tastes better than a lot of chocolate things. It really does, I think so. Anyway, you got these textures and flavors. I mean, look at this. You know, it's amazing. And I haven't even topped it off yet with that. Uh, where I put it? Where's that maple syrup? It'll turn up somewhere. It's a big bottle, can't really miss it. Usually, usually. What do I do with it? I can't believe I can't find it. <laughs> oh, seriously? Look at that sign. Oh man. I gotta get out of the car. I gotta get out of the car and try and find it. Alright, I'll pause this for a second. Turns out I didn't need to get out of the car. 
It's over here. It's around. It's there. It's hiding over here. The car is absolutely chock a block. Okay, so. There we go. Just a little bit. No, I don't have to do it. Just a little. So this has definitely got sugar in it. So it's not necessary. Oh, that's probably way too much, actually. That's well, not over the top, but didn't need to put that much. It's trying to be fancy while trying to film it at the same time, and I messed it up. Anyway, this is my beautiful thing here. Different, you can put over berries. Raspberries are very nice. If you get, I mean, if I had a freezer, I'd probably just get frozen frozen raspberries. I mean, all fresh ones, but um, you always have them on hand if they're frozen. And it's just amazing. Like, got nuts and cacao and um, kiwi fruit, golden kiwi fruits, golden kiwi fruits. That's the trick. I learned that from someone. And uh, yeah, whatever berries, you can put whatever you want. You can put, I could put apple in here too if I wanted to. I've got one apple, but I'm going to say that for myself later. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video here of making a very simple uh, treat. This is a treat. This is a real treat. Because often people say, give yourself a treat, but it's far from it. When you <laughs> say you're going to give yourself a treat and it's damaging your body and, you know, and your mind. Well, it's not really a treat, is it? Come on, you're just, we're just lying to ourselves when we say that. We call it a treat. We should get away from that word. This should just be honest with ourselves and say, I have a food addiction and I'm going to eat this terrible thing. And I'm probably going to do it because... You know, it's comfort eating, you know, because <laughs> most a lot of the time people eat, they're not hungry. It's just for comfort, you know, for soothing, to try and soothe themselves. Anyway, there's a whole other topic. But uh, anyway, have a great day, everyone, wherever you are.